Hello, paparazzi user. My name is Josh, and I'm from Shipping Easy. I'm going to show you how to get your Shipping Easy account connected to your paparazzi account so that you can generate your shipping labels for your customers as cheap and as easy and as quick as possible. Okay, it's really easy. Um, first thing you're going to want to do, and we have a help article um, that you can uh, access in order to uh, get these steps if that's easier for you. But what you're going to want to do in your Paparazzi Premier uh, account app is just scroll all the way to the bottom and click on uh, add right next to Shipping Easy. You'll see an add on section right there. Just click add. It's going to ask you to um, create a password and then uh, you're going to click that pink button that says sign up for Shipping Easy. That is pretty much it. Um, that's what's going to connect your paparazzi account to your Shipping Easy account so that your orders can just automatically come over um, into Shipping Easy with all of the, the weight, the product, the customer's information already filled in, all of that stuff for you. Um, at this point, <clears throat> I would highly recommend that you um, just go to a computer. Uh, and once you do uh, these initial setup steps, then you don't have to go to the computer anymore for shipping easy. You can just work right off your phone. Um, but this part is a lot easier if you do it on a uh, on a computer as opposed to on on mobile. Um, so once you get to your computer, um, you're going to uh, log into your shipping easy account. And um, what that's going to do is it's first going to bring you to the orders page. Now, you may have some orders on here. You may not. If you have some existing orders over in Paparazzi, um, at the time you connect your account, they're not going to automatically pull over, okay? Um, but future orders will. So what you're going to do uh, first is you're going to need to go over here on the left-hand side to where it says carrier funds. Go ahead and click there. And how this works is you're going to load a certain amount of money into your carrier account, and then every shipping label that you uh, purchase and print is just going to deduct from that balance that you have in there. And we make it um, pretty simple for you. So all you're going to want to do here is just click add money. You're going to put in any amount that you want in there. It starts at a minimum of $10 and uh, just click purchase. That's pretty much it. It's going to load that money into your account. After you hit purchase, you'll see your balance update right here. Um, I would highly recommend that you turn on this switch here for automatically refill my balance. And what this allows you to do is you can go ahead and set like a minimum amount, um, minimum balance amount, um, and then also a refill amount. So what this says is, you know, uh, go ahead and when my balance falls below $25, go ahead and load $100 back into my account. And then you're just gonna click save. Um, what this allows you to do is one, it doesn't stop you from from shipping and printing labels to like load more money in and, and doesn't take time to do that. Um, the second thing is that you'll see that same amount here that you set for the refill on your credit statement each time. So you'll know what that is and there won't be all of these little charges for each individual label. So I highly recommend that you do it, but it is optional. Um, okay, after you do that, we have our we have our wallet loaded. Um, the next thing that we're going to do is uh, go over here to the left-hand side again. At the bottom, you're going to click on settings. And then over here on the right-hand side, under label sizes and printing options, just go ahead and click labels. What this is, is you're going to set um, your format up for how you want Shipping Easy to generate your shipping label, depending on what type of printer you use. So if you have a thermal printer, like a Dymo or a Rolo, any kind of thermal printer like that, that you load a roll of labels into, that's going to be this four by six label template right here. Um, if that's you, then you can just leave this alone. There's nothing to do. If you have just a regular printer, an inkjet printer, a laser printer, but it's regular eight and a half by 11 paper, um, we can use that too. That's fine. Go ahead and choose this one here. What this says is um, it's going to be two labels on a page. And if you're only printing a label for one order, it'll only fill the top part. Um, but if you uh, it, are in Shipping Easy and say you have um, two uh, orders to process, you can select both of them and hit print. And one label is going to come out, out on the top for the first order, the second label on the bottom of the page for the second order. 
You can just cut them down the middle, put them on the packages and you're done. Um, but once you choose your correct option here, just go ahead and scroll all the way down to the bottom and click save and you're done. At that point, we're pretty much ready to go ahead and uh, start looking at some orders. So to do that, um, you're gonna go over to here on the left-hand side and click on shipping. Now, the beautiful part of using a shipping easy as opposed to another service that um, that you can you know print shipping labels through is that shipping easy is automatically going to pull your orders over from paparazzi and we're going to have all of the information for the order right here so you can see all of that once you just click anywhere on the row of the order you have your order number and then you can also see all of the shipping information right here um so this is your recipient their email this is what they ordered from you um the cost and and all of that other uh you know data that's in there we're gonna go already go ahead and pull that over for you so there's nothing for you to type out or anything like that it's just as the customer put it in at this top section here this is where you're going to choose how you're going to ship it so this one we can see has a weight of 11 ounces we know that because we've pulled over the weight of your product along with the order and um the weight of this product here came to 11 ounces, um, which is under a pound. And anything under a pound, we highly recommend that you ship first class USPS mail. That's going to be your cheapest and quickest option. Um, that's already selected for you here. Shipping Easy already did that, just knowing that that's probably what you might want to use. Um, and so it selected it for you. However, if you choose that you don't want to use uh, first class mail, and say you want to use something like priority mail, you can go ahead and do that. Just go ahead and click priority mail. And then it's gonna ask you what kind of package do you use? Um, we're just gonna say, you know what, it's just a regular package. Um, and it happens to be uh, seven by six by seven. Um, and then once we put that information in, Shipping Easy is gonna go ahead and calculate a new cost um, for that label based on the information you gave it. And you can see, now, seven by six by seven is a pretty big box for something that's 11 ounces, but just to give you an example. Um, so for this one, we obviously do want to go ahead and set it back to first class mail. And we're just going to say we have a package, um, just a regular package. It is 11 ounces. And you can see the label cost drops significantly to $3, a little over $3. So at this point, we're pretty much ready to um, go ahead and generate uh, this shipping label for this order. We have a couple ways we can do that. You can either click buy label here, or you can, if you're on this page, you can just go ahead and click buy label here. And what that's going to do, it's going to pop up in a little box that just confirms with you that you do in fact want to buy this shipping label for this cost. And um, if you have money in your wallet that you put in earlier, which we do, um, you're going to go ahead and say, um buy and then at that point shipping easy is going to go ahead and generate that shipping label for you and um what that's going to look like it's going to pop open in a tab in your browser and it's just going to look like this just a regular pdf document of that label and from here you can go ahead and print this label out just like you would any other document to whatever printer you're using for your uh, shipping labels pretty easy um one other thing that I do want to show you is sometimes we'll, there'll be a little uh, yellow box here with some information um, where you won't see a price of a label here. What you're going to want to do is just hover your cursor over the box, or if you're on mobile, it'll show you what the, uh, the message is. And all this is saying is that the, you know, the address couldn't be verified by USPS, maybe how the customer put it in or, or something. Um, and it's going to give us the option to fix it. So we're going to go ahead and click on fix. And uh, we want to go ahead and scroll down to where the address is. It'll be highlighted in red here. It'll show you exactly what is missing here. Um, and we have a couple of options. Um, we can go ahead and say use anyway if we know that that address is good or we want to just take the customer's word for it. Um, we can just say use anyway. Or you can click this button that says fix. Um, if we click fix, you can go ahead and come in here and edit the address. Um, so for this, 
we're just going to put um, an address in here. This will now be in California. And we'll hit update and we'll see if that address validates and it did. So what that does is when you hit update, Shipping Easy goes and checks the address verification again. And if it is a good address, then it will give you the label price. Um, if it's not, it'll ask you to fix it again, or you can go ahead and use the edited version anyway. Um, and you can see once we generated the rate for that, um, we do have a label price. That blue button is lit up, and you can go ahead and buy that label as well. Before we go, I want to show you one uh, more thing that you get with your Paparazzi Shipping Easy account, and that is branded tracking. What branded tracking is, it's a feature that is already included in your Shipping Easy account that when your customer gets an email saying that their shipment's on the way and they want to check out and see where it is in transit, instead of it bringing them to a just generic uh, carrier page, like a USPS you know, page with their tracking information, instead it's going to bring them to a special branded page um, that is reflective of your store and your website that's also gonna give them that same shipment information. Let me show you how to set that up. What you're gonna to wanna to do on the left-hand side here is click on tracking. And there's just a couple of things to set up. The first thing it's gonna do is it's gonna give you a little bit of a view of what it's gonna look like on a customer's phone. So when they get this email of your shipment is on the way, um, they have a couple of options. And um, so what you're gonna to wanna to do is fill in uh, the information here on the right hand side and then go ahead and um, click next so for this i'm just going to put my store but you're going to put your stuff in here click next what you're going to do here on the customization piece is uh, you can go ahead and click here to change kind of the layout or the template that you want it to be used um, there's a couple of choices in here or you can use the one that we have you can also pick a theme um, that best fits kind of your, uh, you know, the feel that you want it to have. Um, we do have a special uh, paparazzi premiere theme loaded in here for you. All you have to do is select that. Whoop. And it's, you can see it changed the colors. And then you're going to go ahead. And if you have a logo or an image that you want to upload, you can put that there. We're going to click next. Here is where you can add any additional kind of menu items that you want to maybe send um, the customer to a different link. Um, obviously, all of your social information can go here um, and then any, anything else here. Um, and then once you say publish now, what that's going to do is it's going to make it live. And that's it. And that way, um, when your customer goes to click on uh, that email that you're going to get, that they're going to get sent, letting them know the order is on the way, um, they'll be able to be brought to a page that is paparazzi uh, reflective of what they ordered. And um, it's just a really nice touch, super easy uh, to set up on your end. And once it's set up, you don't have to do anything to it. It just runs on its own and, um, and it'll work for you. I hope this uh, was easy and, and uh, easy to understand. And I hope the setup um, of your Shipping Easy account was as easy as it was here. Um, we're so happy to have you and um, we want to be able to support you and your growing business. So thank you for your time. Happy shipping.